With the help of new state funding, Fresno County has begun the process of restoring mental health services wiped out by budget cuts. In tonight's Education Matters, Juanita Stevenson tells us how Fresno State graduate students have been filling this gap for years. The Fresno Family Counseling Center not only provides low-cost mental health services to the community, it is also a nationally recognized training program for Fresno State graduate students. I'm home with the kids all day. They could be any couple sitting down with a counselor trying to work through their problems. How do you feel about him saying that? But these are all graduate students in Fresno State's Master's in Marriage, Family, and Child Counseling program, demonstrating an integral part of their training. We have the real life experience of working with real life clients and, and really being able to help them um, with these just real life situations and crisis. 27 year old Magali Magillan is a marriage and family therapy trainee and here at the Fresno Family Counseling Center she and other graduate students provide a valuable service to the community. It's great it's really gratifying that we're able to to help people who may um, ideally you know they, they need the help and they may not have access to the resources to be able to receive good quality mental health. The Counseling Center, which is a Fresno State sponsored program, has been providing low cost mental health services to the community for 31 years. We see couples, families, children. Uh, we see a variety of issues. Dr. Christopher Lucy, director of the program, says the Counseling Center of four students completing the final phases of their master's degrees, a unique training experience. This course really is um, their first experience working with the community. Um, it's intensely supervised. The student counselors are supervised by Fresno State faculty who are licensed marriage and family therapists. We're really just helping the kids process. They learn how to develop treatment plans, how to work with individuals with a variety of problems. They also participate in a, in a program that's pretty unique, uh, I think nationwide. We do something called dual channel feedback here. Some of the sessions are recorded and a professor may be watching in and consulting with the student during the session. While the recording's going on, I have an opportunity to comment and give feedback to the counselor. And it's overlaid onto the session, so it's a moment to moment. Uh, training experience. Students like AJ Jones says having that level of supervision is very helpful. It's scary at first, but it's definitely uh, welcomed because again, as you noted, we are dealing with real life here. This is this is real, real life. So to have that instant someone tell you right then, you know, no, you need to back off that or, or go further. It, it, it's helpful. The Fresno Family Counseling Center model of training is nationally recognized. The student's education is not limited to the classroom and they are getting real-world hands-on experience. It's extremely invaluable especially because we really are when we're out of here we're, we're pretty much ready for work. Despite the fact that the center has seen a tremendous increase in clients, officials say the community doesn't know enough about their services. So students are doing more outreach at events like this one to get their name out there. It's about really educating people about what mental health health is and how they can reach us and, and know where we're at. Hernandez says there is still a stigma associated with mental health, but the Fresno State program, which is producing a diverse group of professionals, aims to break down the barriers to treatment. I think this center instills a passion for our students to give back to the community. So it's not just the classroom, it's their way of giving back to those in our community who probably need our services the most. Now, the Fresno Family Counseling Center, which is located at Palm and Shaw Avenues, is working to get its name out there to, to the community, and it is always seeking additional funding because they do receive some help from yeah. Fresno State, but they mostly survive off of uh, fees, which are minimal. So, 
public, the public that goes for these appointments, they are required to pay. It's they do free. pay according to what they can afford, okay. and okay. some very little. I mean, you think about the different careers in which you try to get real-world experience. Look at that. This has got to be the <laughs> career in which it's almost the most uncomfortable, maybe, taking those first steps, because these are real people with real problems, real, real problems. issues, and I mean... They don't you know, want to make a mistake. No, you don't want to make a mistake there. It's, you know, it's sensitive. It, it's really great that they have that yeah, opportunity. Yeah, and having that dual, that instant feedback, really, they're one of the few universities that does that. It's, Fantastic. It's smart. Yeah. One of you, thanks so much. Appreciate it. The